Ready to hit the pause button on your parenting fails? Ready to feel better about your parenting? Welcome to Parenting Pause, the podcast, where all of you is welcome. I'm Leslie Potter, the founder of the Pure Joy Way, a mother, a parent coach, and a fellow traveler on this journey to wake up in our parenting. And I believe together we can make this a better world for ourselves and our kiddos. Lots of parents come to me and ask, how do I set boundaries with my child? So boundaries is such a big topic in the parenting world. And uh, I have a different take on boundaries. I work really hard not to bind my daughter, but to come back in and ask myself when I want to bind my daughter, which I do, uh, I ask myself, how am I treating myself? So for me, a healthy personal boundary, my definition is what's okay with me and what's not okay with me about how I treat myself. Now, what this means is, is If my daughter is doing something that I feel is not healthy or I don't like it and I feel like I want to bind her, the first step that I take is I go inside and I ask myself, how am I treating myself in this moment? Usually I'm telling myself, let's say, let's use computers because that's just the biggest one that we all run into, right? And if my daughter's on the computer for hours... I start to notice that I start to feel very, very uncomfortable because I'm beginning to tell myself what a bad mother I am and that I should go and I should get her off. And if I was a good mother, you know, I wouldn't let her be on that computer. And I just start self-aggressing on myself. So I began to recognize that that is the healthy boundary that I need to set is to stop talking to myself in that way, to stop self-aggressing. And so when I do that, I'm able to come into my adult posture and then I don't need my daughter to get off the computer for me so that I don't feel discomfort. Now you're probably going to say, well, that means they're going to stay on the computer 24 hours. And yeah, they might, they probably would. (laughs) And what I get to do when I step into my adult, is I'm able to enter into my daughter's space from a very curious, loving place. Um, She can feel it energetically. Let me tell you, when I'm walking in and I want to go bind her so that I'm okay, she can feel my fear racing into her room. I mean, it just fills up the whole room because I'm coming in with an agenda and I'm coming in hard And so when I do the work to work with myself and to separate out and to stop treating myself in such a self-aggressive way, what that looks like is I just finally, when I'm loving, I can tell myself, okay, here's the reality. She's been on the computer for two hours. She doesn't look like she's getting off. All right, I would like to make a connection with her at this moment. So what happens when I walk into her room And I express that. And it's very, very different, I promise you, when I walk in. But I don't just walk in again with my agenda of I want to connect. I first walk into my daughter's room. And again, I see her beautiful being. I see her smile. I see she's laughing. I see she's focused. She's connected. She's social. She might be playing a game. and She's social. And so I just take in that breath, which we were talking about last week, I first of all just take her in because I have space inside of myself because I'm not, she's not a reflection in that moment of my being a bad mother. She's not a reflection of my pain, my suffering because I'm not the mother I should be. I don't have the daughter that just gets off the computer and wants to, you know, go out with me and wants to eat good food and wants to take walks right? And so once I'm separate, I can walk in and I can appreciate her and I can appreciate her beauty and I can appreciate what she's doing. And when I enter into her space with that energy, she can make space for me. When I enter with all my fear, nah, she's going to close the door. 
And then from that place, I get curious. I may ask her what she's up to or what she's watching and how's it going. And, you know, I, I can engage with her and she will let me into her world, right? She will welcome me in because I'm not coming in there with my fear, with my ideas of who she should be or who she shouldn't be or, or what's best for her, all the things that I like come in with when I'm loaded because I've been self-aggressing on myself and then I want to bind her so that I can stop. So think about it this way. What's okay with me and what's not okay with me about how I treat myself? And once you begin to treat yourself so utterly kindly, especially for the things you don't like about yourself, right? Once you begin to start opening and offering kindness to yourself, then you will be able to walk into your child's room in a state of kindness, in a state of curiosity, in a state that says, wow, I see who you are, not I see who you're not. Thank you for listening to this episode of Parenting Paused. If you enjoyed the episode, do me a favor and share it with your mama friends. You can also leave a review wherever you listen, which will support getting the Pure Joy message out. Come on over to the Pure Joy Parenting Practice Facebook page or join me on Instagram to hear more. And don't forget to download your free copy of the Safe Seat course on the Pure Joy website. And while there, check out the offerings page to go deeper in the Pure Joy world.